Hey y'all, it's your favorite on. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below to Nightcap YouTube channel so you never miss a single live stream or video of myself, Ocho, and Gil. Remember, Nightcap doesn't happen without you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you. Ocho, bad yes, news for you, bro. Wine Garcia tested positive for PED. According to multiple reports, Garcia has tested positive for a performance enhancing drug, Osterin. Uh, related to boxing upset over Devin Haney in 10 days ago. Garcia responded on social media to the news as well. Let's take a listen to what he had to say. What's up, everybody? Um, I came on here to address this <clears throat> bull fucking shit claim that I cheated. Lies. Yep. Everybody knows that I don't cheat. Um, mm -mm. What can I say? You know, uh, why didn't they come out with this? before you know the fight if they found it before why would they let me step into the ring right. as a cheater and then come out with a victory and then they post this you know again um these are people that um are trying to attack me for whatever reason but um no weapon against me shall prosper okay. i never taken a steroid in my, i don't even know where to get steroids at the end of the day um i barely you know take uh, supplements um they're saying it's coming from the ashwagandha that's fucking retarded so at the end lies of the day, I, big lies Man, if they don't get a uh, uh, Dollar Tree Patrick Mahomes out that video, who, that, who is that? Who is that? I don't know who they were. It looked like <laughs> Dollar Tree Patrick Mahomes. Dollar Tree. <laughs> Man, I don't know. Listen, you 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 got to know. You got to know what you're putting in your body, though. He you, knew. you got to know what you're putting in your body. You know, and it, like, obviously, if you weren't taking anything at all, then it wouldn't come up in the samples at all. Well, we're gonna find out. He, I think he's 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 gonna request a B sample. His B sample be uh, or, tested. Or to retest it. Oh, or to no. retest the sample they, they already got. They, they, okay, you get an A, you get a sample. They, you know, you know how to do it. Oh, sure put, okay, right. you got an A sample and a B sample. It's one yeah. urine. So they test the A, but they right. hold on to a B. Right. Okay, it comes back positive. Test the B. Because, hey, it may, maybe it was a false positive. So, so. A some, false, yeah, false positive, huh? Hold uh, on, hold on, hold on. Garcia has 10 days to request a B sample be tested. A sample is also uh, a screen positive for Nandra, Nan, Nandra testosterone. What is it? Wow. He tested positive for another. His A sample also tested positive for another drug, Ocho. What he did now? He had two drugs in his system. What you mean? What did he do? So he, he had two. Man, yo. So my question is this. What fighter has ever tested positive before the fight and actually fought? Has that even actually ever happened? I don't. I don't know because everybody um, that gets caught. They get caught before the fight, and that right. stops the fight from happening. Right. And so this is the very first time that someone was positive but fought. Now mm -hmm. the drugs he's on is to lose weight, but keep but keep your muscle, keep the keep muscle, the to keep. Yeah, because normally when you lose, when you lose, when you lose weight. It starts to cannibalize because mm. all of you feel weak. You can't yeah. lift. It depletes you, your body because you drop it. Because I think it. If I'm looking at, if I'm looking at him, Ocho, he looks like he probably walks around at about one sixty. Yeah, maybe mm. one sixty five. Mm. Oh, yeah. Now to drop down to one forty. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. So and then you remember, and then you able to rehydrate right before the fight. So right he, after you weigh in. So, so it's not like he gained strength or gained muscle. He just. But here's the thing: while you're dieting. You keep the muscle strength, so your muscles or your body don't cannibalize itself. Mm -hmm. Because see, as you start to lose weight, when you lose weight, you start to lose muscle. Right. I tell you what, you you ever see how uh people that stranded or if they're on a desert island, they're on a raft or something, how they look? You saw Castaway. You see how yeah. Tom Hanks look? No uh -huh. muscle tone. That's yeah. what happens when you start to diet because right. the body starts to waste. It's called wasting. Okay, so they give the those drugs were made for a lot of times. These drugs were made for AIDS patients. Because as they start to lose weight, you want them to keep some level of muscularity. Mm. So, 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 so technically, right? The cheat, the cheat is to have someone who's stronger than you lose twenty something pounds. That's the real cheat here, right? Well, because here's the thing. Oh, I'm like, well, this is how much I weigh. You got to get on down here, lose all your muscle to fight me. Obviously, that's a really big disadvantage to you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, here's the thing. If you want, but see, he doesn't really want to fight in that 154 because that's them dogs. Nah, he don't but want see, that. As you, go up in, as you go up and wait, they hit harder. 
Oh, yeah. So 130, 135 is one thing. You go to 140, that's something else. 147, 154, 160, 168. He don't want nothing in 147. He don't want nothing at 154. No. No. So that's the thing. He's like, well, you know what? I'm 160. Let me get down to 140. I can rehydrate. He going to be 155 at the night of the fight. Mm. That's that's crazy. That's crazy how that works. You know, with with David Haney, at the end of the day, no one's going to be on your side here, right? No. We watch watch you get whooped. So the best thing that happens is he tests positive and you get a rematch. Because if you do not get a rematch... No, they're going to suspend him. If it's positive, they're going to suspend him, Gil. If he doesn't get... But if if David doesn't get this rematch, no one is really going to give him this win mentally. No matter what he goes and does, everybody's going to hold this against him. Like, you got whooped. We don't care what none of that says. You actually have to fight him again at some point anyway. It ain't going to be anytime soon because he's going to get suspended. If if this thing come back positive, oh, he gets suspended for six months to a year. Damn. Yeah. Hey, for your first offense? Huh? Bruh, you, bruh, do you know how, do you know how, how in, in sports like this, how they look at doping? Right, they, right, they, right. They test the positive. They look at that as doping. First offense, and, second and, offense, because you get look. People at home want to look, and they want to think that this is on the. They like, you know what? I couldn't do that because that guy's just naturally more talented than I. Mm-hmm. Right. They don't want to think that. Oh hell! I can, if I got on steroids, if I took that, I could do that too. Right. Yeah, but he don't have and, to. At the end of the day, you're gonna have to come out of hiding. Him and his father are gonna have to come out of hiding, and you're gonna have to see the man. If it's a year from now, two years from now, you're gonna have to defend the lost anyway. So he can go in there and say, Oh, I'm disappointed. This and that, whatever you want to say, dog, it don't matter because your soul inside was beating that ring. And for you to be whole as a man or as a boxer, you're going to have to see him anyway. Even if he gets suspended, you're going to have to see him when he gets out. Any, It don't matter. Because well, right. uh, Unless he move up. Because, Ryan, for first of all, a lot of that, what happened, this was a big fight. So they probably hu- kept it hushed so the fight could happen. That's mm-hmm. a lot of money. I ain't trying hey, try to let a $30, $40 million fight disappear. Right. You know what I'm saying? Don't you know what I'm right. saying, Gil? So yeah. I'm going to let that thing. We did, hey, let's get this money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They get this money because the pay per view ain't, ain't getting no refunds now. Mm-hmm. Ain't no nobody sir. that went to the tenders that paid them 10,000, 15, whatever they paid for ringside mm-hmm. seat. Ain't nobody getting no refund. Right. Let's get this money and we'll go from there. Yeah. And hey, you, you said you said somebody going to move up in weight class. Who who, who going to move up? Uh, what you call it? Ryan Garcia said he wants to go to 147, maybe 54. Do you know who's at 147, 154? Yeah, Bud. That's Boots. That's Arrow. That's Arrow. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Bud. No, yes, I know who's there. That's su- no. that's suicide. What you doing? No, nah, nah. I, I respect see, Ryan got Garcia. Him gassed up. I, I love you... I love Ryan Garcia. I love the left hook. I love the quickness. I love the speed. No, that ain't happening. You don't. We don't want none of that up there. Per Chris Mannix, a no contest overruling is on the table. Ah, so what happens then? No ruling, no contest. That that it did. They, they, they beat all up, but like the fight didn't happen. Okay. But we know it did happen. <laughs> What's so yeah. funny is it, that's what I said. It seems like all of this was just like I'm I'm three pounds overweight, so you keep your belt. We get paid. This comes out. I don't lose any money. Like what 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 is it? What what does it all matter at this point? Well, first of all, he gets his he weight, whatever his loss is, he gets it back. Right? Like it never. Yeah. happened. That's what I'm saying. It's like it's like this has all been staged in a sense. Well, I don't think it was staged, but here's the thing. I ain't taking that fight. If the fight's at 140, we we doing at 140. Bruh, do you mm. understand as you get up, as you go down in weight, them pounds matter? Yeah. Can you do because it's that last little bit of depletion. Because once you get to a certain level, you know what? Oh, so you you we've seen guys be overweight. That mm. first 10 pounds is easy. Yeah. As you start to get closer and closer to your natural weight. It gets harder and harder, harder and to strip harder. the pains off. Yeah. Now you get down, and you see, that's what Tank did. Okay, they made the fight at 135. He had a rehydration clause that he couldn't go to. So high. he couldn't get his weight back up. Yeah. Boom, there it is. So he had he had there's to stay a, there. The right. Which, uh, which also, if you see, the, if you look at the pictures, how Ryan looked when he fought Haney, as opposed to when he looked when he fought Devin, Tank. his body was completely Ooh. depleted. 
But that, 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 that seems more like the cheat to me anyway. Dehydrating someone and doing all that to win the... That seems more like the cheat part of it. So the fact that he's taking the drug to hold his strength, it seems like it's even, even match. No. Well, if you if you want to fight on the highway, he could have went to 147 and try to fight Enos or try to fight, fight Bud, but he don't want no problem. No, so what he problem. tried to do... Huh? <laughs> Hell no, I want the problems. <laughs> so what he tried to do is that... And that's what I said. A lot of times, people that, that's a shortcut. So all this notion, it didn't matter. Oh, it does matter. There's a reason why they take them drugs. If it didn't matter, why were you speeding? I, I don't even know why. Oh, uh, because you was in a hurry. You was trying to get someplace in a hurry. Speed matter. Mm-hmm. Size, strength matter. Yeah. That's why he took what he took. So, okay, so in, in those, in, in, in those um, divisions, right, there are certain ways you can't fight at, right? People can't. But the heavyweight, right? Yeah. There's just this big old gap. You can be 100, 200 pounds over the other person. You got to fight mm-hmm. them, right? Yeah. 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 Why? <laughs> because, <laughs> well, not in the UFC. The UFC, uh, the uh, the heavyweight is like 265. You can't be over 265. Okay. But you. What, what, what is the start with? No, well, they got different weight classes. Uh, I think. Like what is the heavyweight? Like, what is the bottom? What's the smallest heavyweight? Probably. I think. I, hold on. I think light heavy is two hundred five is the cutoff. So anything above two hundred five, you start to get uh, as a heavyweight. So two. So two hundred six. I got to fight a dude that's two sixty. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Or you better lose that pound and, and be at two hundred five. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be in there with the straight needle. Yeah, yep. You gotta get these. <laughs> yeah, gotta get but these see, places. but see, boxing, <laughs> boxing. You know, you go 30, 35, 40, 47, 54, 60, 68, 75, light heavy mm-hmm. cruiser. Then you up to the heavies. Heavy now, what we got now is that Ali. I mean, Floyd Patterson and Ali. They were heavyweights. They were like two hundred five, two ten. Mm-hmm. And then you got this, this, this influx of guys. What they call super heavyweights. Mm-hmm. You started getting the Lennox Lewis's. You got the Vladimir Klitschko's. You got those guys that were 6'5", 6'6", 6'7", and they were 250, 255. Now that ushered in a new era of boxing. Look at the heavyweights now. Look at Fury. Six mm-hmm. foot eight and a half, 6'9", 270, 275. Look at Anthony Joshua. Look at uh, 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 the Brown Bomber. What's his name? Uh, Dante Wilder. Look at him. So what's the smallest that they can fight, right? Because they're sitting there at 270. So can they fight somebody that's 206? Mm. In boxing, look, Roy Jones, Roy Jones won the heavyweight title at 193. Oh, Lord Jesus. Roy was like that. See, Roy started at a junior junior middleweight. So that's yeah. so, so the dangerous the dangerous division is probably heavyweight because the the flow. Oh yeah, they packed the bigger punch. They and yeah, they turned the lights. The they turned the lights out the building with one punch. Mm-hmm. Okay. So Roy started at one fifty four, went to sixty, fought most of his career at sixty eight, which is super middleweight, mm-hmm. light heavy, and uh 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 went to all uh, on won the title at uh at uh the heavyweight title. Now he said that when I talked to him, I had him on my podcast. He said he had something lined up. Him and Holyfield was supposed to do it. Mm. It didn't happen. Mm-hmm. But he said he had that work for what hurt Roy. He should have never lost that weight. He should have took a whole year off. But what he did, he went up and then he came all the way back down back to down. 68. Ooh. And he did it too quick. Great. And he was he was never the same. He should have said, you know what? If you want to fight me, come on up here. Mm. Damn. Oh, Roy was special, man. Oh man, was Roy was he? special, man. And he got robbed. And he got robbed and sold. Oh yeah, when he was a young, you go back a young boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah he, got he got robbed. He got robbed. He got robbed. He got. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, but uh, it's uh, it's 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 sad. I I, I you know, and you want you want to root for you want to root for Ryan because I think he's a fresh of a fresh air. I mean, yeah, look. I, I knew all those antics and all that other stuff. That was just trying to sell the fight, Ocho. <laughs> all that, right? He's not crazy, but right. he's just trying to sell the fight. He's trying to, because like, it's not like Floyd. It's not like Pacquiao. It's not like, like, like Sugar Ray Tyson. Some guys can just say, you like, I got to see this. Yeah. Automatic. Canelo. You got, you know, Canelo, right. 
a lot of people, Floyd, see, Floyd was a two-pronged system. Yeah, people tuned in to watch, but more people tuned in to watch him lose. Or lose, yep. So he like, I don't care, I don't care why you watch it, because mm-hmm. I'm getting a part of this pay-per-view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to see it. I don't care about all that other stuff. Mm-hmm. But let's see what happens when the B sample, he has 10 days to re- request a test uh, uh, of the B sample, and we'll see. Now, That's all we can do. And then, when did, here's the rub, Ocho. Mm-hmm. Who knew? When did they know? And then what did you do? Yeah. That's the problem that you're going to have now. Yeah. Who knew what? When did you know? And what did you do? Because how long how, how long ago was this fight? Like 10 days. 10 yeah, days. 10 and days. it's coming out now. Yeah, there's going to be some more questions. There's going to be some more questions more on the on the staff part of it. Like the testing and this, because yeah, people are gonna look at like yo, this this fight shouldn't have happened, you know. Yeah. Made, Why you wait so long? Can't get the money back. Nothing. Both of them can't give the money back, right? Yeah. They uh, keep- uh, well, they're pro- well, here's the thing. Now they might find him. You remember when Holyfield, when when uh, uh Mike Tyson bit Holyfield's ear, they took ten percent of his purse. That thirty million, they took three million dollars, and mm. they suspended him. So mm. could they find him? Yes. Could they take a percentage of that purse up to 10%? Yes. Could they okay. suspend him? Yes. Okay. So, I mean, damn, that's messed it was, up, man. It was worth it. <laughs> <laughs>